gold leaf is my favorite thing ever. So, we're going to put gold leaf on Padme. Um, the original that I did had actual gold leaf all over here. Um, this person wants to have their print gold leafed or gilded, so we're going to put it on. So first what we need, grab a brush that's decent but not your best Winsor Newton Series 7 $55 brush. Just get a basic brush that's about the right size, not too big, not too little. And we get this stuff called gold leaf adhesive. And you actually paint this stuff on its glue and you paint it on and then it gets tacky and then we're going to put our gold foil on top of that. So I'll show you how that works. This is regular gold leaf and this isn't the 14 karat gold kind. This is imitation. I do have some 14 karat gold but it comes in little teeny squares and it's uber expensive. That it, they come in all different colors. Anyway, I have to have them all because anything with gold leaf I have to have. Neat. That one has purples in it. Ooh, cool. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is just the plain gold leaf. You can buy it at an art store, usually craft stores too. Um, it has 25 leaves and that's what these are. These little teeny, just like a Kleenex. So that's what a leaf is. Okay, let's start with this. This is the adhesive size. It looks milky and liquidy, and that's how it's supposed to look. See, it's sort of goopy. Um, and it's fun to smell. <laughs> Don't try to, this at home. I have to smell everything I use, which is bad when you're an artist. Okay, so what we do, load up your brush with a generous amount but not so much that you're dribbling it where you don't want it um, because anywhere you drip this stuff your gold's gonna stick to it it works great um, you you don't want to go too thin with it either because if it's not thick enough your gold won't stick either you, um, you know when this stuff is dry when it's not this milky color anymore so it, it sort of dries out into just a clear, um, clear film that you can sort of touch with your finger and feel its tackiness. Okay, we're back. Since then, I've painted the, the um, adhesive around all of the border areas that I want gold leafed. And after that, I quickly ran to the sink with soap and water and washed the brush out. You have to be fast about that or you'll end up with a whole bunch that look like this that really aren't much good anymore. So that's why we don't use expensive brushes. Um, okay, now we're ready for the fun part. I cut it down to about a little bit bigger than the size that I want to cover. I'll use just a very light touch with the X-Acto knife, a very sharp one. You don't want it to be dull or it'll just sort of tear. And then you just lay it on and don't sneeze. Okay, so then we, I just keep cutting. I'll do one of the bigger, bigger areas. See how it tears? So you, you kind of got to just practice that. I hope I made this one big enough. And you lay it there. And then just gently touch it down and it's, it sticks. Now it doesn't matter that it's overlapping because we're going to brush off the excess later. You'll see. And that's really the fun, fun, fun part because then you get to see how it all works. And you'll also get to see if you missed some spots with your adhesive. Keep doing this, adding it where you want it. Um, and you can, you can be kind of fast. You don't have to be so, so careful really. Just have to get it where you want it. I actually, some people like it just really, really smooth so there's no lines in it, no 
breaks or folds or anything, but I actually like the textural quality of a little bit of um, a little bit of breaking and folding and stuff. I just think it looks cool. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit more. I have a cup full of excess uh, flakes that I've uh, rubbed off of other things. And these I keep and still use because you can actually sprinkle them around in the areas that you want gold leaf. And, and this is that textury thing again that I like. It's not as predictable as just an entire flat surface of only gold. So I like the look of adding some of this in here and there. And this has more of the variegated red gold in it so there's little orangey reddish bits to it so I'm just gonna go along and fill in these last little areas with this and you can kind of over stack it and then you just sort of push it down onto your stuff on the sticky stuff and we're almost ready to sweep it off Okay, now we're ready to unveil what we've done. I like to use, it doesn't have to be a brand new brush, but it definitely has to be dry and clean so nothing's going to come out of it. So this one is an old brush, but it's clean enough. It's a Filbert Oxhair uh, Robert Simmons brush. So here's what we do. Now you just kind of lightly go along here and brush it like this and you can see how the edges clean up right to wherever you painted see it just comes right off and you can scrub a little bit on it. it it doesn't it doesn't hurt it so now we just go along now here's an example of where I missed with the gold um, adhesive so nothing stuck there. So I'll have to go back and touch it with the gold adhesive and put it on there again. We're having a little bit of edge come up. Um, I probably missed that too. And it works the same way up here too with the flaky parts. Okay, then I'm going to kind of, well, I, I try and collect this as best I can. This isn't the perfect place to do it. But I'll just tap that out of my way and brush it into my little into my little can. Okay, here is the finished sparkly little piece of jewelry version. That's why I love gold leaf. It it really makes it look like it, it adds value to it. Looks expensive and it's just beautiful and it's it's been here's a before and an after so here's the before one here's the after i know it's not going to look as good in the camera as it does in life but you can see how it glistens and sparkles and i'll show you that i've had a thing for gold ever since school um this was clear back at art center my seventh or eighth term <clears throat> All of this is gold leaf, different colors, and then I glazed oil. This is a recent piece where the halo of this angel right here is gold. The variegated, uh, probably blue or something. These are other things. We can talk about that later. And here's my inspiration, my all-time hero, um, Alphonse Mucha. And on his big, large prints, all this is gold. He, d he used it all the time. And my other all-time hero, Gustav Klimt, all this. If I saw this original once, and it just blew my mind. Thanks for coming.